Hey, 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 welcome back to the Passive Buddies podcast. And today we are back on another blogging episode. We're going to teach you how to turn your passion into profits with monetization of your blog. Now, someone who loves passion or not passion, loves profits. And I love passion too. <laughs> That's probably a different type of podcast. <laughs> <laughs> uh, loves profits, loves blogging and loves monetization is our co-host Brandon Puff. He also loves passion. Hey, pal, you okay? <laughs> I am doing amazing. How are you? Yeah, mate. Obviously, I've balls up that intro. We've not had one of them for a while, uh, which is really, really good because it just starts us on a fun, fun, fun front. front. Oh, my God. I can't get my words out now. This uh, We've been recording for an hour, and now I, clearly I've gone useless. So do you want to lead? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you're not useless. Number two. Uh, yeah, so you can definitely turn your passion into profits by monetizing a blog. Um, I actually was doing a test run on a project called Living Off the Grid. And in a matter of, I want to say a week, I was able to rank for a few keywords. Um, I want to say I was able to rank for eight keywords and get a little bit of traffic to my site, which is pretty exciting um, for something that I was interested in but never really actually got into because um i don't I, I mean i would love to live have a farm and all that but i think that the the idea of it is much greater than actually doing it like having yeah, to clean up after no. yeah and my missus said no. um, <laughs> you can put as any excuses as you want me your missus said no <laughs> she said no you're right but um <laughs> I um I I didn't want she she told me that I probably wouldn't want to clean up after the chickens or pigs or any of that. I'd probably just hire someone to do it. But to give you an example of just to give you an idea, I started with a blog post. I made a few blog posts using AI, and I was able to rank for eleven keywords and get some traffic to my website without really doing any kind of um anything really. And it's, it's crazy to think because I'm looking at my HR reps right now and shipping container earth ship. I am position 18, which is pretty good off the grid food reservations, 27 rank 27, uh, container homes off grid 38. So pretty, I mean, if you think about it, if I can get a, if I'm position 38, for a topic I have no idea about, and I get it to the top, top 10 pages um, or top 10 spots, and it gets a click, and someone buys a container home, and those container homes are like 10 to 20,000. Oh, nice. Say 20, what was that? Sorry, I said, oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, so 10, 10, 20,000, and say I get, say, 5% of that, that's a, a grand from just one sale. And so I'm already ranked 38. So I would need to make a few articles linking to the container homes to boost that up. And if you're someone who uh, is into blogging, you definitely want to check out our whole uh, tips and tricks about blogging. But I mean, that's just one example of turning a random site that I made uh, into a passion and create uh, creating an income from it. But I mean, I have new passions all the time. Like we're talking about AI and the other day, and now I'm posting on my main website about AI and it's already ranking. So blogging and creating content about things you're going to be excited about is really is how you live or survive the blogging game. Because if you're creating content on just something that you think is going to make money, you're going to get burnt out really quickly because one, it's not fun to make content on something you're not interested in. You're not going to go deep. You're not going to want to search other random keywords to see if they relate. And so you're not going to make any money and you're going to burn out versus doing something that you are passionate about and then you can strengthen your knowledge about that and actually create an income from it. So I think that it's super easy. You just need to pick something that you're interested in do, like learning about and teaching others about and then creating content around that particular topic. I think that's obviously one thing that you mentioned there was, as you said, like obviously teaching about. So you've got to be passionate about it because you want to be writing about it. So 
it's not just enough to be passionate. There needs to be a demand there as well. Um, like I always used the example of like, if you were passionate about rocks, then you probably wouldn't make any money. Brandon always throws about the pet rock website, which yeah. completely dispels me theory. But if you were passionate about whiteboard markers and you were really, really passionate about whiteboard markers, you'd make a, probably a little bit of money selling them from like Amazon, but it's not going to make recurring income or passive income that's going to get you away from your nine to five stripping back the monetization of a blog brandon's mentioned brandon's mentioned affiliate links so from a monetization point of view affiliate links are probably one of the biggest ways to generate cash from your blog so whether you're if you're recommending pro, uh, products that like brandon's talking about a, a container home like 10 20 grand a percent on that is obviously a grand to two grand, which is actually fantastic. Or oh, no, hundred to two hundred. Sorry, my maths was wrong. But like so many different ways that like what so many different products that you can promote, you'll be very surprised what you can actually promote. What me and me and the missus are actually going through a, a thing right now. Actually, we're looking for baby products because of obviously the the incoming baby in July. But so every time she's sending me something, I'm like, well send it me let me find an affiliate program i was like and i'll send you an affiliate link um obviously we're just looking at like loads of so there's you'd be surprised what you can find an affiliate link on um it's absolutely crazy people talk about like walmart amazon nike there's, there's just there's thousands guys so don't let that limit you so you've got a passion about something definitely go ahead and take a look at the programs and what you can make money on then what another way you can make money outside of the affiliate links is once you start to get enough traffic, you can put Google ads on your website so you can get monetization from the ads, the ad displays that are on your site. Um, and then you get paid for views and you get paid for clicks. Obviously, the clicks are a higher buyer intent, so therefore you get paid more. Then you can look at course creation. So if you're building out a, a blog, a massive blog on something you're passionate about, let's just say it's computers and how to build a computer and how to create the best gaming computer and all those type of things, that you could build out a blog on that. And by doing that, you're going to become an expert you're, because you're constantly churning out good content. You're reading through, you're learning all these things. You can then start selling courses on that exact same thing which means now you've got three different ways of monetization. Then on blogs, people will pay you to put their product in their top spot. So say you've got a top five, top five AI softwares for doing everything at like whatever. Yeah. People will then see how much traffic your blogs get and go, Hey, can I pay you to put our product top spot so now you're getting like paid paid promotional deals so that's another monetization strategy you'll get paid for backlinks you'll get paid for sponsorships there's just it's so many different ways you can monetize your blog but you've got to actually get going with it and start creating that content so but there's got to be a need and you've got to want to go through it so there's so many different monetization methods with your blog and by putting out that content and continue like grow it, Brandon used an example. I can't remember if it was this podcast or the last one about um he had like 70, he was ranking for 70 keywords, and within two weeks it doubled because of the amount of output regarding the AI and the blogging, etc. So if you want to go ahead and listen to some of our previous blogging and AI and um, podcasts, go ahead and go and watch them because this will help fuel turning your passion into profit with your blog. Brandon, I am rambling. Do you want to jump in? Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, we have a whole section on uh, how I was, well, not a whole section, but we talked about how I was able to double my keywords from using uh, AI and blogging, which then allowed me to uh, rank higher and all sorts of fun things. But there are so many ways you can make turn your passion into a profitable business. Um, I mean, just talking about it on YouTube, creating a blog and combining both of those are going to allow you to rank higher, uh, both on YouTube and on Google. And that's going to allow you to, like you said, get affiliate links, get partnerships, deals. So I get, like, I have this company that con contact me called contact out and they pay they give me a product lifetime that's about four thousand dollars a year um and i get that completely for free because i provided a link 
on my website. So that's a brand partnership. Um, you can, like you said, you can get uh, monetization through AdSense. You can get monetization through affiliate links, brand partnerships, all sorts of different things. So creating your own course. And we have go over all of these in the cash flow challenge. And you definitely want to check out the links down below so you get access to that. We pretty much show you how we do AI for blogging, how to make a faceless YouTube channel, how to do affiliate marketing, all sorts of great content to uh, show you how to turn a passion into a profit, something, how to profit off of your passion and it makes it really, really easy. So if you're someone who wants to make money from a passion of yours, definitely check out the links down below. Awesome, guys. I think we pretty much rounded that up. Um, I'll shoot, combining this with previous blogging podcast episodes, you will be well on your way to start this process. And as Brandon said, if you want to learn all about this, if you want our help, go and click the first link below, which will be the cash flow challenge. Come and join our incredible community of people who are making cash flow month in, month out. And we will teach you everything that we are talking about in depth in this podcast, in our weekly coaching sessions. So go ahead, click that link and the first, the first one in the description, and we will see you on the next episode. Peace.